verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Say always. always. You know what always means? Always. It means all the time. Whether good things are happening or bad things are happening, rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Now, anytime the word says things twice like that, but many times Jesus said, verily, verily, or truly, truly. Now, what he was saying is, this is really, 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 really the truth. It's not just double. It's like, it's like super. It's like, it's like you just put your hand on, the, on a Bible and swear in the court of law that you will tell the truth, you'll tell the whole truth, and you'll tell nothing but the truth. Yes. So when it says, rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice, it was putting multiple, hate, multiple emphasis on rejoicing in God. Why? It's not because bad things don't happen to us. It's because bad things do happen to us. It's because bad things do happen to us. Jesus said, in this world you will have tribulation. That means all kinds of trouble. But be of good cheer, for I've overcome the world. Yes, and he is Lord. in us. Yes. When we make Jesus Lord of our lives, the Bible says God sends the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying, All the Father. Right. Jesus is in me. That's why I can do what's right. I'm not the person I used to be. I, the devil used to be leading me, guiding me, directing me. Now God's leading me, guiding me, directing me. Now I can do all things because of what Christ has done. Yes. He set me free. Say, He set me free. He set me free. He's made me whole. Say, He's made me whole. He's made me whole. Say, He's healed my body. Say, I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. Yes. I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. Healed stripes of Jesus. His healing virtue His healing is flowing through me now. Through me now. In, the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Say, I'm dead to sin. I'm dead to sin. Jesus, bear my sin. Jesus, bear my sin. In His own body. On the tree. So I can be dead to sin. And live under righteousness. And by His stripes, I was healed. I was healed. I was healed. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. I was doing verse 4, right? Yep. Yeah. Verse 5 says, Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. That means live right. Be careful for nothing. Now, this is a real hard scripture here for a lot of people. What careful means? It means worry about. He says, Don't worry about anything. Well, you just don't know. Well, God knows. Yes. He wrote this. Yep. Don't worry about anything. That's hard. If you have a struggle with worry, that's hard for you. But we need to do what God says. Yes. Don't worry about anything. But he tells us how not to worry about anything. Don't worry about anything, but in everything. That means, that's Greek word passive. means every single thing. Everything. By prayer and supplication, which is petitions, with thanksgiving, let your request be known unto God. This word request is actually a word that's taken from a word where Jesus teaches us how to ask. How to ask. It's an asking that always receives except for when we miss the mark. Except when we ask not according to God's will. We ask something that would try to consume it upon our own lusts. Right. That kind of asking does not get the job. You have to have the word of God on a thing. You have to have a promise from God. If you have a promise from God, then you can always stand. You can always believe. You can always receive by faith. You can always hold fast Amen. to the expression of your faith. Hallelujah. So let your request be known unto God. And then, that rest we talked about in Hebrews. Then we can enter into God's rest. Then the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, will keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Then the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, will keep our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Then the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, yes. will keep our hearts and minds through Christ Thank Jesus. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Do you really believe that? Yes, I believe that. Amen. Do it, you'll believe it. Do it, you'll believe it. Do it, you'll believe it. Exercise faith in it. Do it, you'll believe it. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 
Finally, verse 8, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true. Say true. True. Now, the, this Greek word in between these, Whatsoever things are true, are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. In other words, all those things are really combined. Yes. Well, that's the truth. Well, it may be, it may be the truth, but it may not be lovely, it may not be just, it may not be righteous. But it's true. Well, just because something's true don't mean you ought to say it. That's right. We should always speak things and believe things and think on things that are all of these things. That's why I don't watch the news very much. Because I, it's really not good news. It's really not just news. I call it bad news. So people come and tell me, have you heard the news? I said, probably not. I haven't heard that. I mean, stuff's happening all over the world. We're in a generation where all the bad news from the whole world is pouring in on everybody. Right. Amen. We got our eyes focused on that. We cannot walk in peace. We cannot walk in rest. Oh, you hear about this on the other part of the world? No, I didn't hear about that. I don't want to hear about that. Right. I got enough to deal with in my own situation in life. Jesus said, don't worry about what you're going to eat or what you're going to drink or what you're going to wear. He said, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Seek that first. God knows about you have all those needs. God knows you have needs. That's right. Don't worry about that stuff. Amen. Just trust God. Seek God. Let God be big in your life. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all those things that you need. They'll just be added to you. Amen. Yes. You know, I walk in the blessings of God. Seek God not for those things. Right. Seek God for, for holiness, for righteousness. Yes. Seek God to be close to Him. Amen. He'll just drag you into those things. Hallelujah. He will, the Bible says the blessings of God will chase you down Amen. and overtake you. Yeah. Yes. Amen. They will chase you down. But you've got to walk in His favor and His blessing. You've got to seek His face. Yes, glory. He will, if you seek God hard, He will be found of you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We need to be seeking God hard. Yes. He'll be found of us. Glory to God. I want to look at one more portion of Scripture. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Turn me to Luke.